Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll discuss the installation of SQLite on macOS. So first of all, what is SQLite? So SQLite is an incredibly popular open source database engine which is used in applications of all kinds. SQLite is a C language library which implements a SQL database engine. It boasts that it is the most used database engine in the world as it is bundled in mobile and desktop software of all kinds. Some of the key features of SQLite include stability, cross-platform compatibility, backwards compatibility, small size and pre-compiled binaries. The SQLite source code is actively developed and the developers plan to continue support till 2050. Now, a question arises, does SQLite need to be installed? So depending on your OS environment, SQLite server may already come bundled with your operating system. For example, for macOS, it comes pre-installed and can be used or executed using SQLite. SQLite 3 command. However, we need to install SQLite in other cases. So since we are using Mac OS, so it comes already installed on a Mac. Now I'll show you how to run it. So let me just open my terminal and I have to write SQLite 3. So SQLite let me ensure that I'm writing it correctly yeah so it's SQLite 3 so yeah it got connected to the server now let me write something like show data basis Just hang on a second. Sorry. So there is nothing here. Uh, I just forgot a command let me just check if it's right okay sure let's create a table so create table TB1 and pass the parameters like one text to int so we have created a table successfully now we'll insert the values in it actually the thing is uh, the syntax varies a little for every database management system so like when you are used to one database management system there's a little problem in shifting so I'm used to MySQL so I'll uh, write uh, the commands of mysql everywhere so you should uh, be aware of this otherwise you may also get errors while doing it now let me just insert some values in the table so insert into tb1 and values the syntax varies a little not a lot but you have to keep it in mind so it's yeah now it's correct 
now for selecting it's the same select asterisk from tb1 so this is the table content so in today's lecture i showed you how to install sqlite 3 on your mac os and note that there is no need for explicit installation it comes pre-installed so that's all for today thank you